様の助け。So here I go again on my own. Episode five. It is super hard now. Tonight on Dicey Dungeons, we join together to watch the inevitable failure. It's been pretty fail tastic. So, episode 5 modifiers. Enemies have 10% extra health. Status effects don't do what you think they do, and what they would do normally in the previous episodes. And the third thing is that the equipment's kind of jumbled around. Um, my uh, my limit break has a drawback in that it doubles the next action, but the equipment cannot be used in the next turn. And ordinarily, I would have three turns to re-roll a dice. Instead, I have two turns or two uses per turn to flip a dice over. So a 6 becomes a 1, a 5 becomes a 2, a 3 becomes a 4, and vice versa for all of those. Sledgehammer is definitely better than the nail bat. Uh, the nail bat would be draining our health, you know. Ten is a high number, though. Um, I can six six in. I can flip a three to a four, and then I can either do eight damage on shock or four damage. I think we do eight damage in shock. Pizza's next action. So I guess we flip the one into a six and then we stick it all in the sledgehammer. Finish off the pop. Gain our extra dice. Off to the second floor. Okay. Without a choice, Sneezy is our first opponent. the one uh, into a six and the three into a four that allows us to use the sledgehammer and then the rusty sword into a four. Finish it. All right, we're doing it this time. We are doing it this time. Super robots up next. Do we have what it takes? What do we think? Okay, we'll get a dry it first. Dry it. Uh, yep. Pick up the chest. We've got the health that we need it. Strong against poison. That is fine. So, sledgehammer straight up. Flip the three. Okay. They've given themselves a decent health gain there. We'll flip the one. Sledgehammer, and then finish off with the rusty sword. Boom. Perfect. Take the polar star. The chest. We don't need the health. And then on to the super robot. 
Sorry, the Super Robobo. It's like Haboblin. Super Haboblin. <clears throat> Super Robobo. Hmm, we flipped the one. I'm gonna dump that six in the sledgehammer. What does a two become? The two becomes a five. And then we use the eight and eight, 16. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna use the Fury on the Rusty Sword. And then we're gonna use the Sledgehammer. And then if we sink the rest of the dice into the Sledgehammer the next turn, we'll uh, take him up. just use the polar stuff. Double damage, but it only works on even turn numbers. Alright. Boom. Pick up some health. Pick up the chest. Katana. And then the shop. These are all terrible. I'll take one anyway. Not good choices though. Steady head first. So if we flip the two, then we can get doubles to burn five into the rusty sword, sledgehammer, we're done. Shot and burn. So now we're weakened. Uh, take one extra damage from each attack. Okay. Um, uh, doubles. Makes the sense, most sense. And then we're gonna flip. Three. Double damage. And then, just for a laugh. Bing. Alright, let's see what's in this chest. Fireworks. Shite. Right, Andy Man. Candy Man. Okay, again with the doubles for the burn. Sick burn, dude. Flip a three. Yeah. Flip both threes. So he's gonna hammer us for six. Fair enough. I don't need ignite. I'm fine with this. Um, so what I want to do is I want to use hmm. I flip the three. Use the Fury, double damage on Polar. I flip a one. I do the eight damage with a sledgehammer. Yeah, I have a burnt dice, but it's cool. He's taking a big chunk of health off of us, but we're about to level up, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna use our doubles for a burn. This doesn't matter. We'll just take them out. There we go. So we get all our health back and an extra dice. Now I'm gonna look at the shop first before I upgrade. Been working on a new slogan for the shop. Spend your coins here. There's literally nowhere else. What do you think? Yeah. 
Parrying dagger. Do an even amount of damage. Lock the en lock an enemy dice that rolls to that number. A capacitor or half moon charm. We're gonna take the capacitor. And then we're gonna have a look at our, our layout. So let's go to the upgrade. And I'm going to upgrade the rusty sword. That drops it down. That allows us to put the capacitor in. And then we fight the keymaster. We'll pick up the health on the way down to the next floor. So. Hmm. Uh, doubles to get the three burn, basically. Um, then we flip a two into a five. Two shock damage plus one shock overall. We dump the other ten, the other two fives into the sledgehammer. Then the rusty sword. So we shocked and burn. And now we stuck. That's fine. Okay, so we have our doubles for our free burn. Uh, then we're going to use the Fury. 20 damage. And then we'll drop three into the sword. That kills him. Right. And we'll pick up one of these health. Turns out we didn't need it. Uh, this is where things start to get tricky. All of these enemies are can be pretty difficult. I'm going to go for Crystallina first. Gives us access to health and a way through if we need it. Okay, I'm going to flip the three. Use a double for a free burn. Uh, six and four into the sledgehammer. Then five into the capacitor. And then we'll stay sword for four. right now. I will flip the one. I'm going to flip the two as well so that we can get 10 damage out of Polar Star. We'll dump all of that and then we'll just load the capacitor for next time. Doubles for a free burn. Drop two in the capacitor. Four in the sword. I'm going to unlock the sledgehammer and then finish him. I think I hit a three health, but we'll get it back from the apple. The apple never falls far from the tree. I know, shut up. Uh, let's go, baby squid. Our current weapon uh, equipment layout seems to be working pretty well for us. We're gonna free burn, and we'll flip the one. And uh, we'll get maps in there, pass it in, and sword damage. So double double shot. Okay. I 
again our free burn with the doubles. So then we use Fury and we just drop everything in there. Super Squid is dead. Easy. Compared to the two or three previous games of this episode using this character, this particular playthrough is pretty easy it seems. And I'm not really sure why it is. Maybe they've taken pity on me. The fishing net. It's an inefficient fishing net. So I will not be using it. Uh, we'll get the free burn. Then we'll flip the ones. Sledgehammer. Capacitor. Rusty sword. Forces them to lose health. I like it. Yeah. We're in a good, we're in a good place. Um, I will flip the. Uh, hmm. I'll flip the one, and I'll flip the three. We'll roll doubles, and we're going to do ten damage through the polar star, eight through the sledgehammer. And then just four through the rusty sun. And then he's out next turn. Okay, so I have a better understanding of how the locked dice works now. So I'll flip the one. We'll use the doubles for the burn. Not that we need it. Let's just finish it. I often spend too long focusing on my move set that I forget that the opponent has very little health. So we're going to upgrade here. sledgehammer check the shop no deal I just upgraded it although no no deal okay we want access to the health but I also want access to the upgrade. I'm going to go with the loud bird first. Right. So we're going to use the doubles. This little dude is going to try and get that flight. Oh, it's not even shot. So his flight is now 50% chance to avoid the next attack. Last until something triggers it. Uh, I'm going to use the doubles on the ignite, and then I'm worried about using the fury right now. So I'm going to try polar star. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Probably because the word 50% made me thought, think I had a better chance. Um, 2 becomes a 5, and a 3 becomes a 4. Eh. So we're going to use the Fury, and then we're just going to dump it all in 
into the side panel. Big hits. I just realized that my move has become tantrum. I don't know when that happened. Ah, I've been silenced. And it changes your limit break to make it become less powerful. Alright, fair dues. So I'm gonna hit the burn. Uh, we'll flip a 2 into a 5 for a capacitor. What does that 3 become? 3 becomes a 4. And then more capacitor. Let's, uh, let's go to shop. Oh no. I'm way off base. Last stand. Could work. For now though, let's hit the cowboy. He's level 5. So he's going to be a little bit more difficult than that last fight. Uh, we're going to roll the doubles and the ignite. And I'm going to flip the two. Hammer. And then it's five damage or yeah, we'll do the capacitor. finish. I'll pick up the health. And then we're going to cut through the paper now. Uh, doubles for the burn. Sledgehammer. Stick uh, six into the capacitor. And five into the sword. Flip the two, unlock our dice, double up for a burn, then we're going to flip the three, um, get ten out of that, get ten out of this, and then three from the rusty sword. Alright, it's nice to lock two dice. We're gonna use the capacitor. We're gonna flip the one. And then we'll flip the two. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. He's wiped out.
Boom. All right. Um, well, check the shop. Nice. Okay, so I can take an apple. I can then also get an upgrade on. Might as well upgrade the capacitor. And then we get another upgrade. So, Ignite is, I guess we just upgrade Ignite, why not? Then we hit the snowman, and providing we don't die to this guy, then we can say hi to the boss man. Alright, we're going to flip a one. Burn, return the dice. We'll flip a three to a four. That's ten in the sledgehammer. Five in the capacitor. Three in the rusty sword. All of his dice are odd. How has he done this? Ridiculous. And he's shattered my dice. Decimated them. I hate overkill, how's it going? I'll back for a bit. <laughs> That's appreciated. Thank you for, for stopping past. I'm struggling, but I think I might be close to the end of level five. Uh, episode five. This is the third attempt at episode five because it's pretty hard. So we're gonna re-roll these ones. We're gonna unleash the fury. And we're gonna double sledgehammer. Uh, double polar star. Sorry, double damage. Close to beating him, but he could still he could still win here. Oh no, he can't! Ah, uh -uh, because he couldn't unlock anything, or it would have killed him. Oh yata! So just just a case of just finish him. Um, I'll flip a one into a six. Hit the capacitor. Oh my god! All right, so it's all boils down to this last fight now. We've made it to the boss fight of the Warrior Episode 5 playthrough. Whew. I think our equipment has done us well, served us well. So if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. Oh, I was asleep, but I can be awake. Hello, hello, I'm awake. Let's fight. Kind of rather gentile kind of dragon. Good day, sir. I am a dragon. Um. Okay, so we're gonna sink ten points into the sledgehammer, obviously. Uh, then two in for a burn. We get it back. We flip a two into a five for the rusty sword. Then capacitor. Then we flip the three and stop the capacitor for next turn. Burn works differently now. Uh, previously, burn would require that you, in order to use the dice, you would have to give up two health. But now, burning dice can be used on equipment, but it will disable that equipment for the rest of the turn and for the next turn. So I have to bear that in mind. I'm going to use Fury. 
and then I'm going to double... Am I? Am I though? Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to use this burning dice. Triple shock. Hitting the rusty sword for four damage. He didn't need to unlock all of those moves. Five in the burr, the rusty sword. We need to double capacitor here. So let's do we do four and then two for hit for three. And then four and then two. Alright. Warrior Episode five complete. It's all about So that was the third attempt. Or the fourth attempt at episode five of the warrior it seems to be that if you get the correct equipment set up you're good but if you don't it, it changes everything uh, cheers overkill <laughs> Thank God. honestly what would you even do with your heart's desire if you won it if i won the lottery and i won ten thousand pounds per month for the rest of my life or like a million pounds I've thought about it I would probably just be streaming for the rest of my life and I would go on to a bunch of streamers channels and I would just like gift subs and like give loads of money and uh, yeah I would make other people happy and then I would be happy because I was making other people happy and I'd buy a speedboat and live on the beach. So when I wasn't streaming, I'd be sunbathing. Of course. Oh, anyway, it doesn't look. It looks like you don't need to make any big decisions about what you would do. At least not yet. That's how I feel every time I don't win the lottery. <laughs> oh well. All right, here we go. 